Assalamualaikum and welcome to another Zilfit TV vlog episode. Um, I'm here at my desk, my temporary desk, which I brought down from upstairs. Um, still in a mess. What you see behind me is the um, part of the furniture that we brought down. I'm not going to clean this thing up yet because I'm still waiting for the platform that will be built right here uh, along this wall. And that's going to happen only after Chinese New Year, as I mentioned before. Now, but it serves as a very good workspace uh, for the time being. Now, to this episode, I just want to show you the, um, the, the shipment that's coming in today. Alhamdulillah. Uh, so, we've got about four or five pallets that, that are coming in uh, late in the afternoon, inshallah. A lot of the items in this shipment is going out to Singapore. Uh, I've got a couple of orders, uh, mostly plates. Um, one actually one one order has a lot of spot trading plates the other order has a lot of uh, IPF plates so <laughs> two different market segments but both are going to Singapore inshallah what I'll be doing is obviously I need to clear out the if you remember the long uh, pallet that I have that has to be moved before we can bring in anything into the um, storage space again I can't wait for my new racks to come in so that I can just put that long crate onto the, the rack and then that's done. I don't have to move it anymore. Um, obviously, the, we have, I think, uh, some couple of power racks inside the crates right now. So both power racks uh, have been sold, alhamdulillah. But the problem is uh, both customers want it in March. So I still have to keep them and I'd rather keep them on the rack instead of the floor. Um, apart from that, I think the current space that we have at the storage area is quite quite big already so I'm not too worried about uh, whether or not I can bring in all the five uh, pallets inside. Uh, not an issue anymore. Also what I'm going to do today is something a little bit crazy and um, I'm probably going to bring the heavier dumbbells upstairs uh, one by one through the stairs. As I mentioned in the previous episodes um, that I cannot use the uh, rich truck and I cannot I have I don't have the enough strength to just carry the each dumbbells out from the pallet and because um, they're just too heavy for me uh, good luck to me in trying to bring those up the stairs uh, but I'm just gonna try one by one and see what happens because I just hate to see them on the floor uh, like this and even if we've already done up the the ground floor, even if we rearrange all the equipment that we have left, like the uh, incline bench, the GHD, the uh, silver roll bench, uh, we also have the um, assault bike. There's, there's just no space for, for, for the dumbbells on the floor. I mean, it really looks out of place and it's something that, I don't know, I don't like it. So I'd rather have it some with its uh, you know, all the dumbbells in one, one corner, uh, in one section. So since I've brought up all the dumbbells upstairs, then they, they belong upstairs as well. Sometimes I really don't know why I do the things that I do. So I just carried all the dumbbells up the one flight of stairs. And uh, my legs feel like jelly. And <laughs> my forearms really hurt. And I gotta bring them out here. Oh, that's tiring. I mean, this is like a cardio workout, right? My heart is beating so fast. Oh, oh, oh my, my legs. Should I do the heaviest first? This is the 45. So I just carried 245s and 140kg. I'm like, oh. My heart feels like it's, it wants to jump out. <laughs> oh. Three more to go. I'm really out of breath. Oh. Okay, so 
Ooh. I think mission accomplished at least one half of what I set out to do today. I still have to wait for the shipment to come. It's uh, almost noon now and uh, I was so hungry. I ordered food for myself. I'm gonna just reward myself with some food right now to comfort me and to calm me down. And then uh, hopefully that will give me uh, enough energy to you know, sort out the shipment that's coming in, inshallah. As for the dumbbells, I'm just leaving them uh, wherever I put, set them down. Uh, I'm not going to carry any more uh, for now. But we'll just do it uh, another day. Uh, for, so for right now, let's just go downstairs and uh, enjoy my lunch. Okay, I'm going to turn this uh, episode into a food block. <laughs> So this is ayam cincang. Uh, you can find it in um, USJ1 here. It's basically white rice, fried chicken, and then this uh, sambal belacan. <laughs> I don't know what you call it in English, right? But it smells like probably not for everyone. And then they have this sauce. I don't know what. It's like curry, but it's not. And then I just usually pour it onto the rice just like that real nice and the flies are here now <sighs> usually i eat this with um, coconut shake right i mean i'm really cup loading myself because i think i burned a lot of calories just now and i deserve this i don't care okay so uh this shipment actually didn't come yesterday and um, they said that uh, they said that there was a problem at the port and it seems that um, this is a regular occurrence nowadays, uh, especially since the, the pandemic. But it's fine. Uh, I think everything is safely here. Like I mentioned um, previously that we have about five pallets and they seem to be all accounted for. I need to obviously um, open all these things up. And uh, what I'm going to do is just um, the two, two main shipments um, that I need to separate out, which, is, which are going to Singapore. I need to take care of that first um, before anything else. There are some equipment that belongs to um, local customers here in Malaysia, but I can postpone it or, or do it a bit later. The reason is Chinese New Year is next week and usually um, most businesses are off for the whole week. So I want to try, I want to try my best to get this uh, picked up, uh, the two orders from Singapore, by the way, um, by Friday. Whether or not they can, the transporters can uh, deliver by next week is a different matter, but at least we get them out of the warehouse and uh, we can quickly update the customer that their uh, order is on the way. Um, if, if, if that's not possible, then the worst case scenario is that we have to wait or they have to wait uh, one more week for the order for their orders to be picked up. For now, I need to quickly um, unload all this and then uh, make sure that we have everything uh, in order. Oh, by the way, uh, I just want to stress that you know buying this uh, rich truck has been probably the best purchase that I've bought since I uh, started this business. Um, I don't know whether I've told you guys before, but I started out. You know, at my house, and then everything was just you know hand carried from the truck to to uh, to my house. And then once I moved to uh, Space U8, I bought the what do you call this the uh, pallet jack, and that was easier. And then I bought the manual stacker, and that was easier in terms of stacking all these um, pallets on a, on the rack. But now that I have this rich truck, God, everything is Alhamdulillah so much easier number one i save cost on the truck itself because they do not have to provide me with a truck with a crane uh, i can use this to just uh, take all the pallets off from the from the truck and it was re relatively quite fast because i've been practicing a lot ever since the flood and moving things around uh, so it was quite fast i think they were here for about probably maximum 10-15 minutes and, I've, and I unloaded all, all five of the pallets. So Alhamdulillah, I, I think 
that's one of my best purchase and uh, I hope that you know um, eventually when we get to a bigger warehouse we can get a forklift uh, and more proper um, equipment that can help us do our jobs more efficiently inshallah so right now let's just unbox everything so I've already unboxed everything and um, this particular shipment is pretty straightforward because for example this particular pallet right here contains all the plates that is going to Singapore so that's pretty easy um, the one in here is uh, has uh, all the powerlifting plates which is also going to Singapore so that's also easy so I didn't have to take them out but the problem right now is that I need to set this aside um, and I have to figure out which to take out first and how to arrange them so that we have space for at least the pallet jack to roll this out um, or put it somewhere else so that I can store some of them on the on the racks and that's the trickiest part like the things that's going to Singapore I'm not going to stack them on the on the racks because they're, they're going to go out quite fast and um, the rest there's one customer whose house is not completed yet so he's asked me to actually store his particular order here for a while so that needs to go up because obviously if it floods again I'm not asking for it, for it but if it does then I have to make sure that his equipment is safe uh, I had hoped that uh, I wouldn't have to bring out some of the pallets out but it was uh, quite difficult to just maneuver inside the storage area without moving any of, of these pallets out so as you can see I actually brought three of them out brought in one back in and then um, try to make all this um, uh, all these arrangements uh, try to separate all the um, customers uh, the Singapore Singapore or Singapore customers order into one pallet and now I'm rearranging back the um, the storage area and after this I will be bringing these two pallets back in right now I cannot see it from the clouds but it looks like it's cloudy I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon but I have to be careful and uh, make sure that I get everything inside before uh, you know in case it rains okay uh, right over there are the IPF plates so the customer bought a bunch of them like I think 10 pieces of uh, 25s and then eight pieces of 20, 20 kgs and then four pieces of 15 and 10 each and then a few five and 2.5s and also 1.25 so this will be going out to Singapore so I'm, I need to leave it on the on the floor and I need to bring in the um, what you call it the the sport training plates which is also going to Singapore Alhamdulillah I think that's it for today I think I've done quite a bit uh, namely yesterday we brought up the uh, the 40 kg and above uh, dumbbells upstairs so i've managed to clear a bit of room uh, here and then obviously we've received our second shipment post flood everything is already arranged um, on the storage rack and these two pallets are going to singapore the only thing left that i need to do is to email the transporter to arrange for pickup as well as securing these two pallets to ensure that you know things don't fall apart during transportation i'm actually eager for the new storage racks to come the platform to turn this place into a real warehouse you know <laughs> minus the the actual expertise of running a warehouse everything is everything that i know everything that i've learned is based on trial and error so but I'm sure we will get that inshallah. I am so eager to bring more, to have more stocks here in Malaysia so that, you know, we can just quickly deliver to the customers both in Malaysia and Singapore. And hopefully, who knows, one day throughout Asia as well. That is the dream, that is the goal. Whether it can be, whether I can achieve it or not, that's a different story and I'm not going to worry about it. But that is where I'm, he I'm heading towards. And uh, yeah, so I think the cleaning up process is almost done for now that's it thank you for watching again uh, I, I hope you really enjoy all these uh, uh, episodes the vlogging that I'm doing uh, the intention is that you know either I learn something from you or you learn something from me uh, you know so 
If you have any comments about how I do things and if you think I can improve, please, please do leave them in the comment section below because I really want to learn, I really want to improve, I really want to be more efficient in terms of how I do work and how I, I uh, maintain all this inventory and uh, running the ins and outs of, uh, of, of a warehouse. So please do let me know. If you have the expertise, leave your comments. I appreciate it. Um, again, if you, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you guys again in the next Zilfit TV vlog episode. Bye, guys.